Hey guys, welcome back to the Wild Doc Project 365, episode 1336. Guys, if you're following along on YouTube, please jump on over to thewilddoc.com. Check out all of our full-length videos. That's where we house them. Got a question from one of the awesome viewers out there. I appreciate the questions that come in. Keep them coming. What do I do for a person that I'm trying to teach how to squat correctly and no matter what they do, um, they can't get them to start initiating the squat with the hinge, right? What I mean by that is when they do this squat, they're always having their knees start the squat. So even if they go like this and then get into the squat, they're still having a hard time at getting their their hips to start and initiate that movement. And my go-to answer for this, my absolute bottom breakdown, is to take that whole section out of it. Take from the knees down out of it, because here's what's happening. As they're starting, they're starting by bending their knees. So if we can eliminate that, and we can start somebody on their knees, I'll back up here so you guys can see. If we start them on their knees, ask that athlete now just to sit their, their butt back onto their heels, keep their chest over top, there's no way that they can start moving their knees, right? So we eliminate that from the, from the equation and now they have to start sitting back. Now it's just about getting torso control there, right? So I can do a couple, uh, couple cues here, whether I put a PVC pipe in front of them or whatnot, or if I'm just doing hands-on cueing to get their chest to stay upright, right? So you might migrate just a little bit backwards, but no matter what, we're just gonna keep the chest upright as we can, or a little bit over top the shoulders and we're good right there, and now have them finish. But now we're grooving this hip flexion and extension, right? So now I just come back over and I'm gonna do the same stuff, right? I'm gonna have them do that same thing. They don't have to start the full movement. Don't ask somebody to do a full squat if they haven't got that yet, right? So we're just gonna have them continue to groove that hip flexion and extension, hip flexion and extension. And little by little, we can get a little bit lower, we can get a little bit lower, and we can get all the way full depth. Okay, so if you, have a tr if you have an athlete that's having a lot of trouble initiating that movement with, uh, with their hips rather than allowing their knees to do that, just take it right out of the equation, okay? Put them on their knees, get them hinging through their hips, get, them, get the feel, right, of how it feels like to fold through the hips and then add the, the, the next layer, which would be from the feet, okay? Questions, comments, guys, please post them below. Otherwise, we're here each and every day optimizing function to optimize performance.